Hi, I'm Rich from Trapping Inc. TV, and today I'm reviewing the Range Road Wood Chipper. This is the RR400 model. A wood chipper is one of those tools that you don't know that you need until you use it. <laughs> I can't believe the amount of work I've put this through in the few days that I've had it. It's just there's something always that goes through the wood chipper, and, and when you do, it's gone, it's done. There's, there's nothing more to worry about. It's either compost, but it, it's not taking up all the room that it was before. Like everything that Range Road makes, it's great value for the dollar. It's focused on, on the one-man guy, you know, the one-man operation. So it's easy to move around. It doesn't, it's not heavy as uh, for maneuverability. Uh, it moves really good on these low-pressure all-terrain tires so that you can drag it into some god-awful places I have. I've, I've uh, pulled it in behind. Uh, the, the Argo a lot. 13 and a half horse, professional model, Briggs and Stratton engine. Electric start, your controls here, choking your, your fuel on and off and your throttle. There is an emergency manual override right here. Just bang and she's off, give her a twist and she resets. Oh, motor here, belt drive here, down to our, our chipping head. We can get into the chipping head here. And this has an emergency shutoff switch. So as soon as I open this, this switch pops out, everything shuts off. Motor shuts off everything else. This is necessary because you might occasionally get stuff twisted around, a, around the, the chipping head or whatever. The chipping head down here, though, is controlled by a centrifugal clutch. So until the RPMs go up, nothing turns. And that, that, that's a good deal, because once again, you're not starting anything under load. The centrifugal clutch is a, is a great uh, idea. In here's the business end of it all. You've got uh, a pair of uh, blades mounted to the drum. These are 11 inch blades, they're razor sharp, and there's, they're, they're reversible. So if you chip up the, the one edge, you just take and loosen off these bolts, and turn it, and uh, reset it. Then you got, they, they last twice as long that way between sharpenings. This down below here is called the anvil, and the anvil is determines uh, how thick of uh, a chip you're going to cut. You can make it uh, as thin or as thick as you, as you like. The unit will accept up to five inch in diameter and 11 inches wide. It turns in this direction, so it's self-feeding, and it will pull most everything in there. Uh, it really eats, I can tell you that, it really eats. Here's Hopper back in place, it has uh, this nice matting in here to stop anything from kicking back off of the, off of your, your head down there. Plus it's also very visible, you know, don't shove your hand any further. <laughs> the chute is adjustable, throwing forward, throwing backward, throwing all the way, way the other side. You can, it has a deflector on top if you, you're loading into a trailer or something like that uh, for, for cleanup. Just a really, really well thought out, well balanced, yet rugged machine. Weighs over 400 pounds. So you know there's a, a little bit of uh, steel involved in it. In behind, in this, behind this cage here, we have dual belts for transferring the power from the engine down to the chipper. Dual belts means that you don't have uh, belts getting smoked up, you don't have any, any slippage. You adjust the, uh, Tightness of the belts just by sliding your motor here. So there's four bolts that you'll just loosen and uh, another bolt that you, that you just tighten on, slide the motor back a little bit just to tighten your belts. Awesome, well thought out machine. I knew I would use it a lot when I was clearing uh, you know, cut lines and, and uh, selectively logging the logs I have around here that need to be used. They're, they're, they're dead, they fall down. It's always nice to be able to clean up that top, you know, the stuff that you can't uh, turn into firewood. Where I was really surprised was right here behind me, my fence lines. What an awesome thing. I hook it on behind the, the Argo and just travel along, knock down the, the uh, logs or the trees, 
with the chainsaw and then just feed it, feed it, feed it into this and just keep moving along, moving along. Amazing how much country you can uh, clean up uh, in an afternoon using this. Two inch ball coupler makes life a breeze. I think that's about it. If you have any questions, you can reach us through the comment section of this YouTube, or you can go straight to the folks at Range Road. They're at www.range-road.ca. There's also a US website as well.